20 months into the pandemic, and it seems like just about everyone has had it. Not the virus, rather the fatigue. So how can we ring in the new year with a positive attitude and get through what could be yet another long winter of battling COVID? Joining us now, Dr. Pete Economo, and psychologist and a professor at Rutgers University. Dr. Pete, thanks for being with us. Happy New Year, Lori. Thanks for having me back. It's, it's good to be here and an important topic on a very important day. It really is. I mean, so much has happened since March of 2020, falsely thinking that if we lock down, we could get the virus under control. We're still longing for normal. We're dealing with new variants, but we need to protect ourselves mentally, right? Well, see, the thing is, this was not new. I mean, we're illustrating it because the pandemic is here, but we've always had a focus on attitude. We've always had to uh, ensure that we had a wellness plan and that our health was at our a priority. Uh, and so, yes, this is definitely a stressful time. Uh, but I'd ask us to think about what's our perception of this? You know, um, are we uh, augmenting it? I mean, it's serious, right? So working within the medical field, um, it's serious. My colleagues that are, you know, frontline providers, mm. they're stressed. They're, you know, there's no doubt about that. Um, and this is also just a normal stress that we feel. Does part of that stress also come from the fact of those <clears throat> that they treat that are still unvaccinated or not wearing a mask or just adding to the long hours and the work they've already been doing? Well, I mean, that becomes political, and so unfortunately it's become that way. I mean, medically speaking, uh, these are, you know, vaccines, uh, masks, the science tells us and the science speaks and so yes the, those providers are certainly can become frustrated at times mm. uh, because that might be making their job a bit more challenging in this moment do you worry about kids i think about them you know having to switch to remote learning being denied some of the rites of passages like a graduation all that and now we yeah. hear the schools are going so many of them are going back to the remote learning how do we keep an eye on them and make sure they don't go down that dark hole the good news is kids are resilient. I don't work with children, uh, but having studied them and have colleagues that are pediatric psychologists or psychiatrists, they are resilient. And so I'm less worried about them, frankly. I'm worried about, you know, um, uh, I'm worried about healthcare providers, um, just, you know, people that are home. The, the normal people are people that we should be more focused on. Uh, elderly, are they lonely? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, are, are people feeling connected? I think the thing that's really that I'm seeing is isolation. Uh, and so can we work on human connection because that's something that we're all thriving and striving for. So should we have great expectations for 2022 or should we be really realistic? Should we be making resolutions? Give us your advice. Lori, that's a good point. I think often, I mean, if we look back on time, one thing we know is that history repeats itself. And often we're saying, let's get rid of that previous year. From a mindfulness perspective, what about just being in this moment? It's December 31st, it's a, it's a celebration, and we can feel this way, we can live this way, we can go to a nice dinner on January 14th or 15th or 17th or July. We don't have to make it something that it's not. And so what I'd say is that let's just be in the moment uh, and not put so much added pressure because we're already living in a very pressured world. Just be nice to ourselves, huh, and those around us. Well, that's self-compassion. So mm. it's like, you know, we, we couldn't have scripted that any better. But yes, let's practice self-compassion. And then also with others. I mean, that's, I think, something that's missing. I talked about connection. Mm -hmm. But if we could also just show compassion to somebody that maybe we're frustrated with, that's going to go a long way. All right. Dr. Pete, good to have you on. Thank you for the wise words and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Lord. All right.